Hey, what's going on everybody? Ender Charizard here, bringing you another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video and another single player video. As last time, I was using the Breath of the Wild vehicle. This time, I'm using Breath of the Wild Link because sadly, the two don't go together well. So I figured I'd make videos on each of them separately. For this video, I'm gonna be using the Varmint bike, the Triforce tires, obviously, and the Hylian kite, obviously. So, I think we'll do Hardcom 150cc again like last video, and last video I had a more like dark themed uh, race course selection picked out, words are difficult. This video I'm going to make it a lot more open and bright like the map of, you know, Hyrule in Breath of the Wild because it is a very open and kind of calming map at some times and some points. So, maybe we started off with Royal Raceway? I think so. Also, depending on how I'm feeling, during the end of this video, I might only do three races instead of four. We'll just see. It all comes up to how I'm feeling, how well I'm racing, and whether or not I find a fourth course that fits well into the theme of this video. Regardless, let's start, shall we? I want a good, clean start. I want a good, clean race. All right? Nothing dirty. Let's see if we can get into first pretty quickly here be the hope. I'm gonna get rid of that guy's green shell. Get the pink drift. Steal his pink slips, because he's a nerd. And grab a delight box. I mean, hey, that's a pretty clean start if I've ever seen one myself. That's all I'm saying. Yo, wasn't this Ludwig guy our competitor last video, too? And once again, he's the guy in second place riding our tail? I have no time for such nonsense, let me tell you. I have no time for such nonsense. Also, I feel like I'm playing a lot better this race because this is a much better kart setup. To be fair with you, and I kind of hinted at this in my announcement video of the Breath of the Wild update to Mario Kart, the Breath of the Wild bike, tires, and glider are okay together, but they're not great. And that's... I think, looking back at my last video, why I was making so many mistakes and why there were a lot of close races where I almost didn't get first is because, I don't know, I hate to say it because it's already bad enough that this Breath of the Wild Link does not go well with the Breath of the Wild bike, but part of me feels like the Breath of the Wild bike and the Breath of the Wild glider go well together, but the tires you should probably ditch. And you should probably only use the Breath of the Wild tires with any other, like, cart. But the Breath of the Wild bike and the Breath of the Wild tires, it just, I don't know, I don't want to say it because it sounds so wrong. And it looked so cool using all three of the Breath of the Wild, like, features last video. But it just, it wasn't that good. This bike, however, is a lot more clean. A lot more clean, if you ask me, as I'm just watching myself slowly get blue shelled. Um... No, I, I'm a big fan. I like this setup a lot more. I'm just hitting better drifts, I feel like, with this setup. Feels real nice. I'm able to collect my coins nicely and hit the turns very tightly. So, I mean, that's a good first race. I figured we would go to Moomoo Meadows next because there are a couple farms in Breath of the Wild and one very specific, bigger cow farm I can think of in Breath of the Wild. I don't know, it, it fits the theme of the video, okay? I like it. And this is just a, a fun, simple little course as well, so it's always good. Always good and healthy. I, I don't know why I said the word healthy. I mean, maybe it is healthy. Maybe playing Moomoo Meadows more than, say, a course like Rainbow Road is very healthy for the sake of your mental sanity, but I don't know. I haven't done any studies. We'll have to, I'll have to do that sometime before I graduate college. Make the most of my college experience, you know? <laughs> Anyways, one lap in the bag already. It's a very short course as well, which I kind of like. And because this course is so short, we're leaning towards a, a four-course video. A four-course meal, if you'd like. Um, can we bob and weave between the cows? Oh, most definitely we can. We're too good, honestly. It's crazy. We are too good for this course. See, I'm feeling much more confident this video. Maybe that that's it. Maybe that's the reason I was playing so bad last video. Not only was I using a worse vehicle, but I wasn't confident. This race, and this video, I'm using a better vehicle, and I have a lot more confidence. It goes a long way. I just... 
I'm busy here talking about my confidence, doing anything other than focusing on the game, and I threw my green shell out. And instead of holding it behind me, stopping the red shell, maybe I should focus. <laughs> maybe I should focus as the blue shell comes my direction and I have no way to dodge it. Finish the course here, and uh, it's another easy first place. Alrighty, I know we did this in our first video, uh, our last video, I should say. Our first Breath of the Wild themed video. There, I saved it. But I have to play Hyrule Circuit again, come on. I'm playing as a Link. It's only right. You know, it's not that big a video playing the same course two times in a row on the series. And, you know, not a lot of people watch my Mario Kart series anyways, so no one's gonna care, I feel like. And if you do, I'm sorry, okay? I'll write you a formal apology in the comments section, and I'll make each apology different for each person, so it's not copy and paste. I care about my viewers. Promise. Just cross my heart, swear to God. God dang it, of course someone hit the second thing. I honestly didn't trust the CPUs to be good enough to hit the second podium, which is why I didn't go for the shortcut, and now I just feel like an idiot. I'm looking so dumb on my own god dang course. Um... Anyways, I missed the bomb, so I had to use the green shell to dodge the red shell. That's a bummer. But, I mean, other than the minor mistakes, we've got a good... I looked... I looked away for one second because my phone got a text, and I ran into the banana. <laughs> God, freaking dang it, brother. We just lost first place like that. We just lost first place. Surely you're joking. Luckily, that green shell snipe, snipe for lack of a better word, will get us back into first, which I appreciate personally. It's crazy, all my confidence from last race just went out the window. I need to get it back. Listen, you're hot. You're really good at this game. You used to have a speedrun world record in this game, Caleb. Come on, you're better than everyone else. Just kidding. You're not better than the person who beat your world record. Sorry, that didn't help. We are just back to being not confident again. Uh, maybe I just focus on the game and stop talking to myself like a loser. That'd probably be a good idea. Uh, I could not beat the red shell. Could not beat the red shell. Oh my god, I'm bouncing around like it's freaking ping pong. You know, I'm just gonna stop talking for a second and try to get in first, because it's the end of the third lap and I'm not in first. Which is the most optimal time to be in first, I would say. Hold up. Use this real quick. Beautiful. Alright, one more race and I'm done the video. That was... Way too close for my liking. Alright, for race number four of this video, I'm doing Shy Guy Falls, which isn't the most open map like the theme of this video has been, but Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has a lot of beautiful, I mean stunning waterfalls for gaming, you know, standards. And I figured I'd hit up this map to mimic that. So, can we get a good item in second place? We can. Can we hit the shot? Oh, yes. Okay, good. I, I had my doubts even after I hit it. I was wondering how it hit almost because I thought I missed. I thought I missed the second I threw it. I, I, like I said, I lost my confidence. I don't know where it went. Even when I saw Peach get hit by the green shell, I was still kind of concerned. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I mean, like I said, build the confidence. Build the confidence. You know, I'm, I'm really good. The Triforce will power me to victory. I don't know. I'm just saying random things at this point. Um, man, I love playing Mario Kart. I wish... Uh, I got more views on my Mario Kart series because I just, I love playing this game. It's so easy to joke around and relax while at the same time having a good time. And Peach, you will never pass me again. Alright, sweetheart? Thanks. Uh, it's just a fun game. Mario Kart is probably... Sorry, this rendition of Mario Kart, Mario Kart Deluxe, is probably my second favorite game of all time. And that list changes a lot but it's usually and almost always in the top three. Right now it's the second, only behind Pokemon Soul Silver. Breath of the Wild used to be my favorite game of all time for a while, like what, basically the day it came out up until a couple months ago, Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of all time. And then it moved down two spots because, uh, I don't know, maybe I just am not the biggest Breath of the Wild fan. And I'll admit I'm not, like I'm not a fanatic of the game. I love it, but I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not committed to it. Like I'm not a stan of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> can you be a stan of video games? I feel like you can maybe. Um, we'll ask Eminem later, but all I'm trying to say is, I admit 
that Breath of the Wild is the best Switch game to ever come out. From an unbiased standpoint, from a biased standpoint, however, I think Mario Kart's better because I play it more and I like it more. So Mario Kart's number two, Breath of the Wild's number three, and Pokemon Soul Silver is number one in my book of favorite video games. Regardless, that little rant aside, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day, and uh, until I see you next time, peace, peace.